Hello everyone and welcome to my first tutorial, Introduction to Programming. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write simple programs using the Microsoft.NET Framework and the Visual Basic.NET Programming Language. To edit and compile VB.NET programs, you can use the Microsoft Visual Studio Express Edition, which is available from the Microsoft website for free. I have a new console application project created here using Visual Studio 2010. Let's start by making a small program that writes some text to the console output. To do that, we add some code in the main subroutine here. Now when we run this program, the text my first program will be written to the console and displayed on the screen. Let's try that. Here it is, my first program. And of course our program is not limited to having only one line of output. If we want to write something else, we can simply add another console.write line here. Now if we run the program, it will display my first program as well as programming is fun. Let's try that. And here it is, my first program and programming is fun. Now simply writing messages to the console output is not very interesting. We want to interact with the user and get some input from the user. Let's do that by asking the user to enter a secret message. To do that, we first make a variable to store the user input. In order to make a new variable, we use the dim keyword followed by the variable name. Let's call this secret message. Now we need to specify the type of this variable. And it is a string type. String variables are used to represent text, and now we will assign some user input into it. Now we will ask the console to read a line from the user and store that message into this variable, secret message. Now we want to give the user a prompt, otherwise the user will not know what to enter here. Now the program will display tell me a secret and then wait for the user to enter a message and store that message into this variable, secret message. After the user enters the message, we want to display that message on the console output. We do it here. Let's try this. Tell me a secret. Let's put the kid is alive. Now the program says, I know your secret. It is the kid is alive. Now, if we want the prompt to be displayed on the same line as the user input, we can change this right line into right. Now there will not be a new line between the prompt and the user input. Let's try this. Programming is fun, tell me a secret. Yeah, let's write the same message. Notice here our input is on the same line as the prompt. In the end of the program, let's write Thank you for using my first program. Now we can store our program name in a string variable similar to the user input. Let's do it here.
and here we can change this to write the program name followed by the exclamation sign and here thank you for using followed by the program name followed by the exclamation sign let's try this one more time tell me a secret the cake is a lie I know your secret it is the cake is a lie thank you for using my first program and thank you for watching this video in the next video I will show you how to write a program to work with numbers in addition to the strings thank you and goodbye